Earlier this year, I was endorsed for the Global Talent Visa. And since then, I've made it a priority to help as many people as possible who qualify to actually do the same thing. In this video, I'm going to be sharing um, about how I wrote my personal statements um, that helped me to get the Global Talent Visa and how you can do the same thing successfully. We're getting um, what's the Global Talent Visa. The Global Talent Visa basically enables the brightest and best technology talents globally to come and live and work in the UK's digital technology sector. Why is the UK doing this? I think that's the first thing to um, really understand. The UK is doing this simply because um, they are trying to position themselves um, for leadership in the global technology space. So they are bringing in the best brains across the world so that these brains, in quotes, can contribute to their cutting edge expertise, creativity, innovation, experience, and even um, income um, taxes to maintaining and elevating the UK's position in the um, global digital technology space. That's the whole idea. Good. So when you understand this, it helps you to put context into exactly how to write your personal statement so that you're able to get the global talent visa easily. One of the major benefits of the global talent visa is the fact that it allows you to move, to live and to work without any form of restriction in the UK, right? Um, when I say without any form of restriction, what does that mean? It simply means that um, as against the um, student visa where you're able to study and work for a few hours, the global talent visa allows you to work unlimited, like full time really, <laughs> for any company, for yourself, across sectors really as much as you deem fit right so the global talent visa basically is to ascertain and certify top talents you know and bring them into the uk so that they can help to strengthen the uk's economy and the uk's position in technology that's really the idea so as um, a global talent visa um, holder or migrant you have access to work for any company at any time anywhere you could even work for yourself the second advantage, really, uh, which I consider very priceless, is the fact that you can move with your family. So even if you have a family of 20, <laughs> the fact that you have gotten it and they bear your, non, your name, your surname, they are your immediate family, you can move with them. The other benefit, really, is the fact that um, it leads to permanent residence. So if you, are, if you got the Global Talent Visa as an exceptional talent, within three years, you have your ILR, and then eventually you can switch to... Um, citizenship you become a British citizen right and if it's for um, exceptional promise which is five years after five years you get your ILR and you can become a citizen so when you're putting together an application for the global talent visa uh, the endorsement you're actually submitting uh, you're putting together 15 different set of documents and I'll list out go into detail even though this document I mean this video is basically for the um, personal statements but in a nutshell, the 15 documents you have to submit uh, consist of one, your personal statement, which is one document, um, two, your recommendation letters, three recommendation letters, which are three documents. And then next are your proof of evidences. Now, the proof of evidences are 10 different pieces of ev evidences you have to submit. 10 different pieces of evidences, right? And I'll probably create another video explaining that also and how it should be done because I think that there are two major reasons why people uh, don't get this visa when they apply. You know, there, there are two major reasons. Number one is that you don't meet the criteria, you know, because uh, there are criteria that the UK has set. For instance, you must have worked for a product-led company, not just any technology company, not, not as an agent and not as a consultant. A product-led tech company basically is a company um, that has the product as its business. The product is the main driver of the company's business, you know. Um, so, so, and the second reason why people don't get it is simply because they, while they actually qualify, they meet the criteria, they are unable to put the document together in the exact way that the tech nation expected or in the exact way that they've instructed that it should be done, it should be put together, right? And that's why um, um, I'm doing this video um, for the purpose of that. Good. So now, so 10 pieces of evidences, um, one personal statement, that's 11, um, three recommendation letters, um, that's 14 and lastly your CV so that makes 15 different documents that you have to, you have to put together um, like I said I'll create videos that address all of this uh, in detail good but for this video we're gonna be talking about the personal statements so how do you put together a fantastic a compelling and a successful 
personal statements for the global talent visa good first is storytelling second is covering the criteria you have to write it in sync with your own criteria because they are the ones they will judge you based on this criteria good and lastly um specification writing within the specification that they have they have listed what are the specification a thousand words and maximum three pages so now let's go into it now storytelling so what's storytelling so i'm sharing my story at the end of um the story that i've shared you should be able to feel what i felt while going through that experience that's your idea the reason why this is important is because we if you have two personal statements right stating the same things and one is um one was written as a story the other one was just written as an academic stuff right the one that was storified would get more credence because we are we are actually we are creators of stories and that's why we love stories you know when we're growing up our parents will tell you stories under the tree and stuff like that you know so people love stories and stories are powerful good so you want to write your personal statements using storytelling so how do you do this starts chronologically you know writing chronologically starts with how you started how why you do what you do you know how did it start for you so for instance for me um i started with my story you know and my story basically has to do with how i got into technology so i started by saying um i was raised in a rural area you know uh, somewhere in lagos you know my parents with the even though i came from a well-to-do uh, family eventually my father lost his job and uh, we became of we were not poor but we're not rich you know so so that's my story it's my personal story and this experience actually um led me to discover um books i fell in love with books you know and it practically changed my life i fell in love with books i fell in love with technology this is my story so how are you going to share your story your story is unique they want to hear your story they want to read your story now this story basically um it takes this thing beyond just an application you know it makes them see into you you know why you do what you do and why you want to come to the uk so i told my story and i said today um of course even though that's my story today i hold a master's degree um i hold a software uh, product management certification from uh, product school usa you know i hold an e-learning certification from harvard you know um um i'm also the co-founder ceo at afri learn but, but, but this is not the case for many of my childhood friends this is my story what's your story so tell that story in a very very compelling manner you know and of course you want the story to be chronological you know chronological meaning that one thing after the other just as the just as the thing happened as your journey you know as your journey is you want to align it accordingly so that you know the person even feels like they are watching a movie when they are reading your application your personal statements that's exactly how you want to put it together you know and at the end of the day you want you then want it to lead to why you are applying for the global time visa you get you get what i mean so you want it to lead to why so for instance for me at some point um or um in that story that story basically led to how i founded afrilearn you know but before afrilearn also i had worked in digital technology even though i didn't work for technology companies but i worked in digital technology so i worked for an international ngo but i worked as the head of digital marketing head of new media right so that's not working for a tech company but working within a tech you know position or role right so the fact that you all your experience wasn't in tech does not mean that you don't qualify you do qualify you know as long as you you've had between six months above experience with a product-led tech company good so now you how you now put this in a story form how you story tell your experiences is very 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 important my story then led to um um how i founded afrilane or and of course um alongside my co-founder basically how and how under my leadership Afrin has grown my story basically started from how i grew up you know um, in that environment in, in the in an average community so to speak right and then today when i go back to that community i see most of my childhood friends still doing what they what we used to do decades ago and when i think about it the major thing i found is that it's majorly for lack of education quality education now not because they don't want to be educated but simply because their parents couldn't afford quality education so my parents despite what happened to my dad my parents still got me good education great so so why did i found afrilen i found afrilen to solve that problem such that um, education becomes affordably available for every young african every child should have the right to quality education irrespective of their background Real good so that's my story that's why i eventually founded afrilen but there's a story behind it right and then you then talk about other things you've done you know this is not the time to be humble this is the time to talk about your biggest accom accomplishments in a very 
credible manner. So I spoke about the awards I've gotten, you know, uh, since I started leading that field and I've has gotten a lot of awards aside the, the impact we've made. You also want to talk about your impact. It's very, very important to talk about, you know, your accomplishments in a very inspiring uh, manner, you know, with an inspiring na narrative, you know, talk about your past accomplishments, talk about your skill sets, you know, so if you've gotten any certifications that aligns with technology you want to talk about them one after the other chronologically but do not forget it must not be more than one thousand words so you want to pick the biggest of the biggest accomplishments you've had right now if you've also made impacts you know impacts basically is how you've affected people's lives how you've affected businesses how you've helped them to move from points zero to point one point one to point two you know you want to you want to share that as much as possible chronologically good and then it now leads to why you are applying for the global talent visa so now here you also want to talk about your plans you know what plans do you have when you get to the uk what are the things you're going to be doing they want to like they want they want it to be that detailed it's really really important and your application also has to answer certain questions there are certain questions that they expect you to answer for instance why do you want to come to the uk why exactly you know so for me i said i love um the fact that the UK is one of the top countries when it comes to technology, you know, and I said that though I have achieved a lot, you know, I think that um, um, there's more to achieve, you know, there was a, there was a way I coined that, but take your time to write this. Why do you want to come to the UK? Uh, your personal statement must answer that question. What is your planned occupation in the UK? So, uh, if for instance, if you're a product um, manager or you're a product marketer or you are a you are UX person, is this the line in which you continue when you get to the UK or do you plan to change? So you want to also explain that, right? Uh, but whilst doing that, uh, um, um, it's important to note that consistency is very important. Now, which region or city in the UK um, do you plan to live in? You also want to talk about this. So before you actually uh, conclude writing this, you want to research about the UK. You know, if you have friends in a particular part and you are, you are more prone to live in that part, you want to talk about it and that you have friends there we're also forward thinking you know uh, or in the technology space and, and this is the reason why you want to stay in that in that area so if there's a, an there's an area that will support your career the most you talk about it and why that area will support your career your career the most in the uk right now how will the uk technology sector benefits this is one of the biggest things you want to talk about how will the uk technology sector benefit from your work from your skills you know so examples of this might include um, the technological advances that you will bring to the UK, you know, maybe like the creation of new markets, new sector, you know, the plant growth of a company. If you already have a, a, a company, you want to probably bring the product to the UK, you know, the activities you will take part, you know, outside of your direct occupation. So if you want to also volunteer in the UK to help people to um, learn technology skills, you want to talk about all of these things and then you want to storify this entire process. Your, your personal statements should be, should be so inspiring that even you know that if you were the reviewer, you want them to read it and think that, okay, if, we, if this person, if we don't grant this person this visa, the UK is going to be losing, losing a great opportunity. You know, that's exactly what you want to have in your personal statements. I only concluded by um, talking about the fact that beyond all the work that I would do, um, I would also, I would also volunteer, you know, uh, in certain vocational schools. Because personally, for me, I'm actually very passionate about skills. Talent is never enough. Talent is overrated. Only skills bring success. You know, so I love to be a part of uh, training people to get skills and all of that. So I put that. You know, I put. I added that uh, in my closing statement, right? And I also talked about the sector. I mean, the education technology sector. So I spoke about the potential of that sector and why, how, what I'm doing. You know, it's very important to ensuring that uh, the projected market value. You know uh the, that the uk also benefits from it you know the final thing to note is that at the end of the day you want to go through your statement as much as possible as many times as possible so that you are you you are sure that what you've written is compelling enough to get you um the endorsement and lastly do not forget the writing specification is um 1000 words and um three this pages. is really really important so thank you very much for watching this video um i hope this has been of value to you um if it has please subscribe to this channel because i'm gonna be dealing with other topics um that has to do with the global talent visa 